Let's give this a go. I'm just going to do basic skills. You can ask me more questions later. But how it begins, um, here's the camera app down here. Okay, I've got to hold this so it doesn't shake around too much. Okay, So pretty easy to, um, to use this. Um, you can see that you can take still pictures or videos. At the moment, it's on still pictures, which is why you can tell that icon there is a camera icon. So if you take a picture, if you want to use stills, that's fine. Down in the bottom right corner, you can take a video. Um, it's zoomed in at the moment. The actual aspect ratio of the iPad doesn't match the aspect ratio that you're recording in. So if you want to see the full frame, which is a bit wider than this, you just double tap and you can see the whole thing. So that's what the black bars are about. You can actually see that's in the right ratio. If you want to focus on something that's far away or nearby, you just tap on the screen and that'll also change the exposure. So you can see, I just tapped on a dark spot. So it reacts by trying to make things brighter. So little things like that, okay. All right, so, and then you just have to hit record. You can know you're recording because that's going to be flashing and you've got the, the time in the top right hand corner, okay. And stop, all right. A few little shortcuts. There's um, multi-touch gestures to um, go back and forth between things. So for instance, this is your home button here. So you can use that, tap it to close your app. Or if you want to be fancy, use four or five fingers and you can close it like so, okay? Um, now, the main thing that I want to show you is how to use iMovie. Okay, so uh, let's, let's go back a step, sorry. Now, this is what you're gonna meet when you first open it up, okay? So to begin, um, you want, it says tap plus, right? So it's, it is pretty easy to use, but this will help things be quicker for you. What you want is a project. Trailers are okay, you can have a flick with around with them, but they won't be useful for your purposes, okay? Now what you'll see um, is that you've got a pane here, which is sort of like your preview pane, which will show you, you can have a look at what the video will look like. Down here, you're gonna have a timeline, and up here, you got the different kinds of media that you can put into your video. So at the moment, because I've got the, um, the film roll, I film roll icon there. I'm looking at all the videos that are currently on the iPad, you can get more. And these are, this is still pictures. So you can see, I took a few pictures this morning, I'll show you them in a second. And you can add theme music if you like. I think there's one for, I think there is one for news reports, here it is. Yeah, I don't know, it's up to you. You've got a few presets there, anyway. So how, do you, how does it work? Very easily, you just pick out any sort of clip, okay? For instance, here's one I took this morning of a, um, a clock ticking, and uh, you've got a, a, f a few options there. If you just wanna take that whole clip and adjust it later, that um, blue arrow icon will bring it into your timeline, and then you can adjust um, what part of the actual film that you wanna include. So if I just hit play there, I'm previewing very exciting, isn't it? I was looking around in the math staff room this morning, I'm like, I need some things that move so I can film them. The clock is moving. So there you go, that's that. So for instance, suppose I'm like, actually, you know, you'll film someone talking, okay? And uh, for instance, like this, so let's actually do that. You guys are gonna have to help me because I, I don't know how much of my face you're gonna be able to see, but. Okay, so someone comes into the frame and starts talking, right? But you won't actually want the whole bit of the actual video, okay? So, what you do is, stop that, okay. Um, some more multi-touch gestures, if you've got four fingers, I think it's four fingers, you can slide across, uh, back and forth between the apps that you've got open. So, now you can see, this is the, that new recording I just made, take a seat. And um, I'm gonna, actually I'm just gonna get rid of this, hold it, hold it down and you can drag it away and it, it disappears. Let's bring in this one. So, um, firstly, you can also see down the bottom, right, this blue line, that represents your audio. It's quite soft because I was just using the internal mic, so you can adjust that. Um, and you can see there's the, the volume, so you can turn it off, you can mute the, you can mute the track, right? Um, or you can, um, sorry, if I can aim right, you can boost it. So you can see, can you see those lines there that correspond to the audio? So you sort of want it looking like about that. Okay, now. Uh, it's, it's helpful having the audio there because then you can see where you start talking, for instance. So this, this part here, the early part, is where I'm sort of getting into the frame. Um, and you can see it if I press play. But, okay, so someone comes into the frame. Yeah, I'm just in there, okay. Talking, right? Anyway, so you can see, I don't wanna, when you guys edit, right, you don't wanna start over here. You actually start uh, when the person's there, okay? Yeah, that's a great angle, isn't it? So anyway, what you wanna do is tap on once, onto the actual clip you're editing. And these yellow circles at the end will let you um, cut it shorter or longer. So you can see, um, I'm cutting off the beginning and eventually, oh, there's my head, okay. So I'll come back a little bit. 
There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, that's the great. That's the best spot to start. You can actually see as well in the audio. I can probably go a little further because I've still got a bit of silence there. Can you actually make that out, or is it too small? Can you see it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'll go just a little bit further. Okay. And then at the same at the end, I've got the same problem, right? So um, I think here. That's that's yeah. I disappear quite quickly, don't I? So I actually want it to end around. There I go. Okay. So now I've just got that short part. Someone comes into the frame and starts talking, right? But you won't actually want the whole bit of the actual video. Okay, so I, I missed a little bit, so I'll just make it a little bit longer. Now you can also see, because I've only taken this portion of that clip, right? Up here in the top left-hand corner, sorry, that makes it harder to see. There's a very thin, you're going to have to squint for it, very thin orange line at the bottom of the clip. That shows you which parts of the clip you're actually using in your project, okay? So for instance, now you can... You know how we just edit it and cut, it, uh, cut out a part of this clip, right? So you can do that directly from up here. So for instance, um, this is a long clip that I took this morning of me. Um, very exciting. Like I told you, the math staff room was really boring this morning. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to clean my desk. I'll show you something I can do with this in a second. But suppose you don't want to bring this in and it can be quite long to do it here. What you might want to do is say, I just want the first five seconds, 30 seconds, okay? So you can see you can use these yellow circles wherever you see them, you can basically um, cut and change. Take that part, there you go, so now it's in my timeline. You can see there's the orange line showing you what part of it you took. And now maybe I want the beginning and I want the end. So let's take that part there. So there you go, beginning, end, you get it, okay? So I actually don't want this because it's, it's a bit boring. So let's put something else in there. Let's take, um, some dice. Okay, now I got I got given these dice for free once. Uh, what I'm going to show you now is really quickly the transitions. So in between here, between the two clips, you've got a little icon there that tells you what kind of transition you've got. Okay, so I think the default, if you tap on it, the default is a cross dissolve. Um, there are different options. I'll show you in a second. So for instance, when I, when I hit play, right, but you won't actually want the whole bit of the actual video. Okay, so there's the dissolve, okay? Maybe, uh, dissolves are kind of cool, but you know, most actual uh, things on TV don't use any kind of fancy transition, okay? So therefore what you want to do is double click on that and um, hit none, and it'll just cut from one clip to another directly, like so. Bit of the actual video, okay? There you go, so no transition, okay? So it's up to you what you want to use. It sort of depends on the situation and what you're transitioning between, okay? Now you can also put in pictures. Um, so I took a, a handful of pictures this morning. Um, here we go. Yay, it's some textbooks, because uh, it's pretty boring. Now you'll notice these textbooks are moving. What's up with that? Well, it's kind of a nice effect when you're looking at photos um, to sort of pan across the photo, and you're, you've got a voiceover talking about it. So what you might have is, if you click on the picture and the, the time that's there, it's, it's in there for five seconds. Maybe that's how long I want it. Maybe not. Maybe I only want it for, say, uh, three seconds, okay? And what I can do is I can change what part of the picture I'm actually looking at, okay? Um, so for instance, maybe I'll, I'll zoom in to yellow fits, hooray, because we all love yellow fits, right? So that is, um, I'm at the start of the picture, okay? So now if I hit end, okay, that's what I'm going to look at by the end of the picture. So it's going to go from, from in to out. Does that make sense? So if I um, change that back to a fade so it's a bit more consistent. Let's hit play. You won't actually want the whole bit of the actual video. Okay, and now it, it pans out. So now you're talking about your great product that your, your new story is about, and then it transitions back, okay? Now, you can see most of what I've got doesn't have audio on it, right? So what you can do is, um, you've got this little icon here. It's very small, which is a, it's a microphone icon, which will let you record audio over what you've got there, as, like a voiceover, basically. So if you hit that, right? Um, that's just telling you the audio level. If I hit record now, it'll give me a warning. This is me trying to demonstrate a really tacky looking clip. And now I really like yellow fits. So I zoomed in on yellow fits and now I'm zooming away. And here's some really awesome, well, actually just one die. It's not dice because dice is plural. Now, if I um, review that, the frame. This is me. Starts talking. Trying to right. demonstrate. It's got both going at the same time, anyway. And now, I really like yellow fits. So I zoomed in on yellow fits, and now I'm zooming away. And here's some really awesome... Well, actually, just one die. It's not dice, because dice is plural. All right, so I'm just going to set that. 
you can see what I can do now is go back to this original one, right? And it was a bit confusing having two of me <laughs> at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is take the audio on that. I could either just turn the audio completely off, right? Or I could make it like soft, and so you'll hardly hear it. You might hear some background noise, something like that. So you can play around with that, okay? All right, now, what other little features do we want? Um, you can add in theme music. I think you can experiment with that yourself. The important thing, suppose you're done. This is my new story. It's done. It's pretty awesome, I think. I think we're ready to, to export. What you want to do is look for this um, icon up here in the sort of middle uh, top. That'll send you back to all of the projects that you've got there. And I think what you're after is this icon here, which is sort of like... Uh, it's an export icon. So probably what you want to do is share your movie to the camera roll and you can choose what quality you want. 1080p is the highest that you can do on the iPad because that's what it records in. Okay? So I can do that. It takes a while once you do it. One quick thing I want to show you um, because it's just something that I learned. Um, if you've got something and it's like a long, you know, like say for example me um, cleaning up this morning, okay? Uh, I've got a little app here. It's a pretty quick and dirty way of doing it, but it works, okay? Which will let you speed up footage, okay? So it's, um, uh, it's upside down. Why is it upside down? Hold on a second. That's sad. It should, it should auto-rotate, because I don't have, um, I'm not, well, anyway, this will do. Okay, now the reason why it's small is because this app um, is an iPhone app, so that's why, that's why it's not quite bigger, so you can tap in the bottom right-hand corner and it'll zoom in for you. And um, what this app lets you do is, don't, don't worry about the name, is take any sort of little bit of footage and you can edit it in a whole variety of ways, but the most important way that I like is that I can speed things up. So the clip I had before where I was cleaning was this one. So I'll just bring that in. Um, and I can speed it up a maximum of, of double its speed. So sometimes you might want to do that multiple times. That's sometimes the, the time lapse videos you might have seen me do. Um, that's how I do it. So this is a two and a half minute clip. So if I click on edit here, that picture of the, um, the guy running, that's my um, speed option. So I can slow it down. I'm not going to do that because it's, it's boring enough. Uh, or I can speed it up. So you can see it's two times there. So if I hit play, um, look, I move really fast. Okay, so there's one. That's one lot of double. It will take some time um, to export. Thankfully, this is not too long a clip. And then the next clip, I suppose, will be a minute and... 15, right? So, oh wow, that's hilarious. Adjusting video speed for it. Please try reopening the project. Okay, well anyway, you get the idea, that's how you do it. And then you can do it multiple times. You just export it, redo it, and so on, okay? So that's kind of your basic tools.